So this is a video about the series, how to tie the series of knots that we're going to be working with. And hopefully if you get to practice this enough, we'll get ahead on our class this coming weekend. I'm using a half inch rope. This is a half inch climbing rope. You do not need to use half inch climbing rope in order to practice with. You can practically use any type of rope, even down to uh, paracord uh, size, eighth inch paracord, if you wanted to, and use uh, a keychain carabiner to practice with. Uh, but the closer that you get to a half inch rope from uh, maybe about a 20 foot section from Home Depot, you'll be able to uh, correlate that better to what we're going to be using uh, for our training. So I've already gone and thrown an over a branch. You can use a rafter, you can use whatever uh, device you can hang it over. Uh, just make sure it, you, it's a little bit higher than what you are in order to be able to, to work with it. And uh, I'm going to give you a definitions here of what we have. So this is the layout of the rope knot series. This section here is called the standing end of the rope. And the standing end of the rope is connected directly to your saddle through this this knot here which is the anchor knot the anchor knot is going to hold your carabiner and that's how you're going to be connected into your saddle so I'm going to show you how it feeds through these two wraps like this And then this part is going to connect directly into your saddle. So you're always going to see the same, you'll always be looking at the same part of this standing end of the rope. Okay, so this is an anchor hitch that's connecting your, uh, that holds onto your carabiner. This hitch tightens up as you put weight on it. So <clears throat> the likelihood of this not ever loosening up and uh, not working uh, is. Uh, you know pretty much impossible uh, this is a what's called a rescue knot this is a figure eight knot and we put that as close to the anchor knot as possible this section here is called the bridge and the bridge connects your anchor knot to this side of the rope so this is a closed system you're using one piece of rope to make this whole system this knot here is called the Blake's Hitch, and it's called the Blake's 5-3, where we have five wraps, and you go through, the tail end will go through the bottom three. This knot here is a figure eight stopper knot, and this keeps the tail from pulling back through your Blake's Hitch. Now this Blake's Hitch is designed to slide up and down the rope, and when you're sitting on it and you have your hands off, you'll stay where you're at. This part of the rope here that goes all the way down to the ground, we call the working end because the working end is going to be going up and down uh, as you go up and down in, on the system. So let me take this apart real quick and I'll show you how to put it, how to tie these knots. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to measure out the amount of rope so you know exactly where to start the knot series. The way we do it is we measure using our arm. We're going to start with our fingertips and we're going to pull the tip, the end of the rope, the tail end of the rope into somewhere around your armpit. We'll do this two and a half times. So that's one, two, and a half. And you always want to bring it to the same part. You always want to keep your arm extended. 
A lot of people will, will do it like with their arm bent and then the next one they'll do with their arm straight and they won't keep the, the same location and then suddenly they can't figure out why they keep getting a different knot series. Um, you know, they, they end up with too little rope or too much. So always keep the same, keep your arm straight and always end in the same spots. So that's two and a half. One, two, and a half, okay? So this is where we're gonna start our knot series. So take your index finger, you're gonna wrap it around twice on your index finger, and then you're gonna take the tail end and you're gonna go behind the standing end and bring it right through those wraps. Okay? and that's gonna be your anchor knot. The next knot is going to be a figure eight knot. You're gonna spin the rope into a little loop. You're gonna come around to the front and you're gonna take the tail end and put it right through that loop. Okay, you want it as close to the anchor knot as you can get it. Okay, so now we're starting to create our bridge. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take what I do is I take my right hand, <clears throat> make a pistol, and I'm going to lay that bridge right in between my thumb and the front of the working end, and I'm going to start making wraps around my index finger. So the very first turn is going to be your first wrap, so this is going to be counted as your first wrap. So one, two, three, around the index finger, and then you're going to go one, two, above your index finger. This is very important, very important right now, is, is that you bring the tail end of the rope over the bridge and behind the working end. You don't wanna bring it over the bridge and across the working end, you wanna bring it behind. This is the secret to making this not work. And where you wanna put it is you wanna take your index finger out and you want to slip the tail end right where your index finger pulled out. Okay, and as you do that, you're going to see that it's going to start pulling on these wraps. So what you want to do is you want to start to dress out your knot so these wraps are a little tighter around the rope, around the working end, and just pull, just pull lightly on the tail end to start taking this, uh, the slack out of this vertical portion. And you wanna pull lightly on the bridge to take slack out of these wraps, okay? <clears throat> now there's a three-step process to making every knot. It's called tie, dress, and set. So I tied the Blake's hitch, but you wanna dress it. You wanna make it look nice so that it's actually going to operate the way that you want it. I could pull this too tight and suddenly the knot looks like it's at a 90 degrees. That's not dressed properly. You want it, you want it to look like the wraps are pretty much stacked on top of each other. Okay, so that's tie, dress, and then setting is when you actually put the weight on. That means when you put the carabiner through, and you're actually putting all of your weight on it. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna take all the rest of these gaps out of the knots and they'll actually work the way they were intended to. The last of this knot series is that you wanna make another figure eight stopper knot. So you make another loop, go around, put the tail end in. You wanna make it close to your Blake's hitch, tie, dress, and set. And then you want a minimum of about three, three inches, no more than four inches of tail left once you're done, okay? And just to recap, this is called the standing end of the rope. This is the anchor hitch. This is the figure eight rescue knot. This is a Blake's hitch, five three. This is the bridge going between your anchor knot and your Blake's hitch. 
This is the working end of the rope that goes all the way down to the ground. The Blake's hitch slides up and down. And this is a figure eight stopper knot and a three inch tail.